Hey everyone, Lucian Gotcha here and welcome uh, to this interview. Carlo, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. No, I'm good in yourself. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks so much. Um, Carlo, I uh, just want to say thank you so much for uh, availing yourself. I know that you are working crazy hours, um, 16 to 18 hours a day, but here we are. Thank you so much. It's a big pleasure. Thank you for having me. Awesome. So, um, I just want to once again uh, um, inform uh, the viewers that we basically started like 10 minutes ago and in South Africa we have something called load shedding and um, then we had load shedding I had to set up on my laptop uh, um, again and therefore there's no lighting <laughs> so uh, the lights um, are off but I'm glad that we are here to actually record the message because that is what's important Carlo without uh, um, keeping you uh, um, for too long the viewers wants to know who are you what I actually did was I created a google uh, link and I asked people to uh, tell me which questions to ask because uh, I believe that um, the people around me are much smarter than myself so um, I didn't come up with the questions uh, they came up with it and uh, the first question is who is Carlo Okay, so Carlo is, uh, I'm currently, I'm from Port Elizabeth. I'm 28 eight years old. I'm currently in Texas, United States, where I'm working as a, as a farm worker on a temporary worker's visa. Um, I did a, a degree in animal science and agricultural economics for six years. And then I also did a, like a cryptocurrency degree. And that's where it also started to get really interesting because I really enjoyed just uh, having the ability to read the charts and, and knowing what, what is going on. Because I, I think that's definitely a, is a, a good thing to have, a skill to have, is to be able to see what is going on in the chart and when to see, when to take profit and, and when to when to actually get in. So, yeah. Awesome, awesome stuff. So, uh, you were born in South Africa. Uh, you did your education in South Africa. And currently, you are in Texas for work. That is correct. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Carlo, um, tell us uh, briefly, why did you get into NFTs and cryptocurrency? What is what is your why? Okay. So why NFTs? Um, it's pretty simple um, because um, it's, it's a digital art. I see NFTs as a digital art. And makes it accessible for everyone across the global world. I mean, across globally, to uh, to be able to to take part in a, a I can say a big art gallery. And um, there's some pretty amazing projects out there that's got some amazing art. Now we're a part of one, and uh, I think it's just gonna go from strength to strength. Then why cryptocurrency is uh, because uh, I don't know you all probably have heard of the Bitcoin run in 2018. Well, that's when it really caught my attention. And uh, I was actually a little bit late for that run, but uh, I'm definitely going to make sure I'm, uh, I'm in the in the back seat or in the crown seat for this next one. But um, yeah, that's when everything started to get real interesting is when that, that bull run started. I just saw what major potential does cryptocurrency have because it's a digital currency and it's so, so early. And it's so nice uh, being able to participate in a uh, global economy because, I mean, uh, irrespective of where you are, uh, um, you can participate. So I uh, um, share your sentiments right there. Thank Hello. You. People want to know, did you do another course on NFTs uh, um, except the one by myself and the team? No, I wouldn't say I did another course um, on NFTs particularly. I did a, a course, like I said, on cryptocurrency, yeah. but um, not NFTs. You actually, Lucian introduced me to uh, NFTs like a year ago. And uh, from there on, I really started to, I like to investigate. I like to go yes. and like, do my own research and all that. And I really like the, the thing that um, what NFTs would become. And that's what's happening at the moment. I mean, it's a year later and everything is really looking bright. So, no, there was definitely not a, a other course I did. 
I, I like what you say when you say that uh, um, you like to investigate yourself. I could have set up my course the same way as the uh, uh, the educational system that we have in schools, uh, um, where we teach you what or how to uh, um, um, do everything. But uh, I strategically uh, structured the course where I teach you everything I do. So at the end of the day, um, you are able to identify projects without actually me overlooking it. Yes, um, I do share the projects um, that I get into with everyone and we discuss it, but others can do their own thinking as well. And that is what makes us um, actually su such a, a, a powerful team because, um, I mean, we all have input into it. Yeah, okay. uh, I agree. Carlo? Um, we were on a, a weekly call um, for those uh, of you who are viewing. Um, we have a hangout where we, uh, as the Inner Circle members, those who actually bought my course, we just go on a Zoom call like this and we discuss what our uh, goal plan is. So we discussed the year plan and I just asked Carlo um, because I thought, you know what, um, Carlo must have... Uh, um, made like um, a quarter million hand but for the global audience let's uh, this let's speak in in dollars hey eh? so um i expected you to have made like 30k uh, 30 uh, 000 us dollars which is like half a million hand and i just asked um carlo uh, um i believe that you are there already um and how was your take? Because I know that you joined us last year, December, and it's currently 10 uh, months. And I, was, um, I wasn't I was shocked, but um, I actually, my heart smiled because um, that is the main reason why I uh, actually um, made this course. And then you obviously told me that, no, you've uh, actually been able to uh, generate over 1.5 million. Um, and I mean, um, since the HANAP, since last week to now, that's... Uh, or um, in my opinion, it's close to 2 million, which is basically 100K. So uh, um, making 100,000 uh, US dollars um, or 2 million um, in less than a year is definitely a, a, um, a huge step. So um, that is why people are so excited. Now, people want to know how much capital overall did you have to invest to be able to generate these kind of... Uh, um, Profits. It's difficult to say how much because I mean I haven't go, went to go calculate exactly how much I invested, but I, I promise you it's a whole lot less than a hundred thousand k. <laughs> but um, yeah. but um, there was there was projects other than what we investing at the moment. Mm. We we are made some really good returns, like thirty x's, forty x's. I mean, it's not even projects which. I me and Rishon talked about. Yeah. And um, that's where I just took the, I see myself as an action taker. I'll yeah. normally uh, take that risk. And uh, sometimes I fail and sometimes I don't. I mean, basically the same as anything in life. You need to try, otherwise you'll never know. And yes. um, that's, and what I basically do at this moment, I, there's a percentage of my salary, which I put into especially into crypto and uh, NFTs. Mm, but my NFT portfolio, just to give you a little bit of a hint, it's, uh, I've got around about 200 NFTs at the moment. So, I mean, and uh, mostly is the flock of the birds, like yes, you all yes. probably would know. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. I mean, and that's basically where it all, yeah, that's basically it. Okay. So, um, just to uh, once again make clear to people that irrespective of whether it's NFTs or whether it's uh, coins that we are invest, uh, investing into, because at the end of the day, we are investing into businesses, businesses um, that um, use coins, use uh, um, NFTs. So to me, I don't care whether uh, if it's a great business, then I'm getting into it. Whether it's NFTs that we are buying or whether it is coins or, or private sales uh, that we are actually doing. So uh, yeah. one of the questions here is um, how long have you been part of the inner circle? I think we've touched on it, but just to make it clear. Yeah, like you, like you said 
earlier on. I mean, it's basically a year, well, 10 months, to be yes. honest. Um, yes. to be exact, it's probably 10 months. So, yeah, it's not yes. very long, but the outcome is enormous. Definitely. Um, I think, I think, uh, um, finding, uh, so just to give people an idea, uh, finding, uh, um, just a few projects that actually do well we will get into what do we look into um projects or what do we want to see before we invest into it but um it, just finding a few projects suppose you start off with one thousand us dollars um and um that is like let's say twenty thousand rand and one thousand us dollars invested into bitcoin the one uh private sale that we have done um, generated us what was that 20 or 30x 30x eh? depending on when a person got out so a thousand dollars a thousand dollars uh 30x takes you to thirty thousand dollars so in hands that is obviously twenty thousand rand taking it to six six hundred thousand so that is one of the projects so just finding a few of these obviously uh, um puts uh, um money in the bank now people want to know what do you look uh, for before investing into a project or investing into a business? Now, let's speak specifically first, what do we look for into an NFT project? or And then secondly, we'll speak about what do we look into a business um, before we invest into their coin uh, for people who, um, just to make it clear, basically, what do we look for before you invest into a, a um into a NFT project. Okay, so especially NFT, um, like you all know, it's a digital art. So I'll definitely say art is definitely important, yes. but it's not as important as the utility for me. A NFT needs to have kind of some kind of utility, a project, a team that's behind it, supporting it, where you can really see the people working the in, you know, in the background, and you can the work being displayed in the price action where you can actually see what's happening and uh, what are they doing um, regarding this project what is this project giving back to the com yes. community so um, that's basically what I'll definitely look into in an NFT especially because uh, yeah I mean you can't just invest into a piece of art and it's just worthless and it doesn't <laughs> do anything <laughs> yeah so like for instance just the example I mean like Birds, for instance, the, the staking program. I mean, it's absolutely enormous because I mean the projects and the and the how can I say the partners they're getting is is, is stunning. I mean, it's mind blowing. And then what I would say in the um, crypto projects, especially, I would definitely say utility um, is because you want something that's being used. You want something with a purpose. You want something that's got some it's not like like I say that's got some kind of purpose we basically for instance um, it's generating you kind of a passive income but it's also um, it's also a fun way to kind of engage with the community and um, yes. getting to know each other in a, in a, in a way no I, I like the fact that you mentioned uh, all three because uh, in the course I obviously speak about um, looking at the artwork um at the end of the day uh, people we you want to like what you are actually looking at and then obviously the community and then uh it having a uh, utility and obviously a byproduct if it uh, has a uh, passive uh, income so um yeah at the end of the day if the artwork is great for me as well and uh, there is utility because cut or every market goes into uh, cycles so it goes up it comes down it comes up it comes down so this the market is being moved by any market doesn't matter uh, uh, whether it's uh, um, uh, forex or uh, nfts or just the uh, cryptocurrencies it is being uh, uh, it does this so at the end of the day people are trading it and it is basically it comes down to emotion so i don't want to go too deep into it otherwise i'll have to explain everything in the trading course but um at the end of the day people are trading so and people are emotional beings so at the end of the day that is uh, one of the reasons why um we elect presidents every five or four years etc all of those kind of things so um 
Now, therefore, it needs to have community because when it goes down in value, and then people still have something to hold on to um, because they are not only there to actually make money. But yes, uh, we obviously know if we're investing into a great project when we know that the uh, team is working hard at it. And then we know that uh, when it goes down in value, that is the time to buy. Uh, and then obviously we want to um, make some profits as the um, market matures or the project matures. Yes. Yes, yes, we see it as a special uh, when it goes down in value. And so many new newbies, uh, when it goes down in value, they want to sell. I mean, um, if you see that there's a special, we have a, a Black Friday coming up. So people flock to the shops when it's Black Friday. And because they understand when things are cheaper, then um, at the end of the day, uh, um, they save some money or some capital. The same when it comes to cryptocurrency, when it goes down in value, when Bitcoin was at uh, 69,000 or uh, um, 1 million rand, then everybody wanted to buy it. But now when it's at $20,000 or 50,000 rand, now everybody's like scared, um, which doesn't make sense to me. But uh, obviously, I also started out uh, that way back in 2016 when I was still new. When it would go down in value, I would want to take out not knowing that that is actually uh, the time to buy, but understanding uh, these cycles uh, is definitely a huge uh, benefit. Now, Carlo, I know that we do not give financial advice, but people wants to know which projects would you recommend? Let's just mention one uh, um, NFT project and one uh, uh, um, sorry, one project uh, which uh, basically. Uh, um, have a token i know that we have uh, quite a few in the inner circle but uh to keep it to keep it simple uh, for a new person um and not to uh, want to give them uh, a piece of meat and milk and not know which one to take <laughs> like the cat but yeah i recommend one that you would if you had now a thousand dollars an nft project and which um token it's fine. You can share uh, oh. anyone, eh? uh, even if we just discussed it in the, the inner circle. I know we don't uh, normally make that information um, public, but you can go. No, uh, um, no chains. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Well, there's no doubt in my mind. One NFT project is definitely Turbots because I mean, and not only Turbots, but the whole the project. I mean, there's a bunch. There's like four or five different kind of on the ecosystem, and I mean, it's got massive potential. The, the partners being introduced and, and just coming it's just like it's just going to keep on going so um, i'll definitely say that's got still got a 10 pound potential with yes. everything that's coming up and they've got a new artwork which is pretty amazing as well so anyway but then a crypto uh what i would say is that, so yeah i would definitely say the dream ecosystem and because it takes everything together and i mean there's yes. a you can go and check it out you won't regret it I mean, it's absolutely amazing what the potential of that is. And uh, yeah, like I say, you can dream and you can sleep with these because I mean, this is going to be one heck of a ride to, uh, to the moon. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Fantastic stuff. So guys, just to once again summarize because we were uh, almost breaking up there. So the project that uh, Carlo uh, recommends is Derbert's. Yes, we've made a lot of money with it, um, but there's even more to be made than what we have uh, made up uh, up to date. So there's still so much coming to Derbirds. That's the NFT project. Uh, there are four different collections that you can choose from. And then he said the Dream ecosystem. So um, at the end of the day, what Dream is doing is, wow, <laughs> it's out of this world. I can just imagine in the next uh, bull run what we are going to do. But yeah. Um, at the end of the day, I, in my opinion, I also believe that um, that's the easiest 10x um, that one would actually have to, would one be able to get. Now, this is a bit of a personal question. Um, I'm not sure whether you are ready to answer this, but um, I mean, you can just uh, give us a, um, just a, uh, um, the answer uh, that, 
you are comfortable with basically not uh, uh, and not uh, sharing too much but how much money would you have to earn or profits uh, sh should you have to make to consider yourself wealthy I remember when before people get into the inner circle I asked them what their goals are and this is a very important uh, question because I mean who wants to make money you don't you don't you don't want money just because money is just uh, basically a uh, digit on a screen, but you want the stuff that money can do for you. So whether it's time, freedom, um, uh, at the end of the day, uh, being able to go on holiday or whatever. Uh, but yeah, this uh, digits give us freedom. So what amount of uh, money is it that you uh, want to generate to uh, um, consider yourself wealthy? Okay, well, let's make this easy, pretty easy. Um, like you all know, I've already sitting on a little bit more than 100k. So what I want to do actually in this next bull run is, and I, which I believe I can really achieve it, is I want to become a dollar millionaire. Yeah. And, um, that's something I really want to become. So uh, I want to actually be financially free. So I don't want it to stop there, of course. I mean, I want to be financially free. I don't want to worry about money or, uh, or something especially you want to go do something, money doesn't need to be any concern. And that's what I'm looking for. I mean, there's not a specific amount. There yes. will never be enough, I guess. Yes. But um, yeah, and you, know, you guys know what they say, don't be greedy, but uh, you know, you must know when it's enough. Sure. Um, I can still remember uh, when you said that... <laughs> Sorry, we broke up a bit there, but I can still remember when you said that you would like to actually be able to generate enough money to uh, um, come back home to South Africa and still um, live comfortably. So uh, basically make more than what you are earning currently in the US. And that is uh, one of the main reasons why I got into this industry in 2016. I wanted to uh, um, quit my job of uh, um, working 16 hours per day. I was uh, doing uh, um, career work and I wanted to have more time with the family. In fact, I prayed to God because I also held a position in church and still currently do. Um, and I asked him to actually help me to get back of my time uh, um, because, I mean, not having any time during the week uh, and only having your weekend off where you're working 16 hours per day during the week, it just kills you. And um, yeah, in 2017, I was able to walk away from it. So people have different goals and I would definitely, I mean, um, you've generated uh, between 1.5 million and um, 2 million hands, but I mean, that is only 100 uh, K uh, US dollars. And I don't want to sound ungrateful because when I started in 2016, I only had a thousand hand to actually get started with. And I, I know what it's like to uh, have only a pair of shoes and no other shoes. Um, and when that shoes is broken and then I'll have to buy like a super glue, et cetera, and all of those kind of things. So we go up um, very poor, basically, just with the basics. But at the end of the day, if your dream is big, then I mean, becoming a hand millionaire is like nothing because you can just buy a house. You can't even f uh, furnish it with it. Um, you can buy a nice, comfortable uh, uh, car. If like myself, you want to uh, uh, maybe do some charity work. Um, I mean, um, if you want to do anything in the community, you want to build a church, you want to um, build a, 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 a youth development center, it takes millions. So at the end of the day, um, being a dollar millionaire is actually what uh, um, I would also deem as actually being a um, the goal uh, to actually achieve, to be able to have your own time and uh, be free and not have money, money wise. Okay. Um, last question as we're wrapping up. Okay. Um, now, for a person listening to this, and they need to make the decision whether they want to get in or not. What would you say to actually uh, um, push them over the edge? 
I see so many people um, that keep postponing, keep postponing and thinking you need to start off with big amounts. I mean, one can start off with $10, um, like hundred and, but what would you say to a person um, to actually have the light bulb switch on so they know that they are also worthy of making these kind of money? Okay, well, like John said, you can start off a little small amount. I mean, it doesn't have to be something big. You can work yourself up. Yeah, well, then uh, it just went from there. Kind of just started going bigger. But that doesn't answer the question. What I'm going to actually tell all of your viewers is that um, you kind of just need to change your mindset. And if you change your mindset and you put your mind to it, and you, you know you can you achieve it. Like what my favorite saying is, is basically is a action taker is a money maker. And I mean, that's something I really believe in. So yeah. so hope hope that answers the question because that's basically all I want to say is like an action taker is a money maker. If you don't take any action, there's not going to be anything. So uh, yeah. No, that's spot on um, because information is nothing, um, but you need to take action on the information. So uh, I like what you just said, uh, action takers, uh, money makers. Carlo, thanks so much for tuning in. And we do appreciate um, the fact that you um, are willing to uh, come on here. I'm also uh, giving away to uh, one lucky individual. Uh, I'm giving away a NFT um, Yeah, for actually setting up these questions. Now, uh, just before we uh, uh, wrap up, so uh, at the end of the day, uh, a whole lot of NFT projects, especially like the one you've recommended, Derbits, they go up in value and then they also pay you passive income. So um, yes, having a, a small capital, you will earn small passive incomes, but uh, at the end of the day, building it up over time, because I mean, it took us uh, close to a year to build up the kind of portfolios that we are holding now. And um, I mean, um, you didn't just um, earn a whole lot of passive income, but at the end of the day, it takes time to actually achieve this. Carlo, thanks so much for tuning in. And are there any uh, uh, um, last words you would like to say before we go, even if it's just a goodbye? <laughs> Well, uh, like you guys heard, I mean, this is absolutely an amazing opportunity and uh, we're in the right stage in the market. I mean, it's really the best time to get in is, is now. I mean, you want to start, you want to build yourself up in a bear market to be yeah. able to strive in a bull market. And yeah. that's what I'll do. That's advice I want to give you is something I've, uh, I've decided to do and it's really coming off and it's paying off. So, I mean, I would definitely say um, get yourself ready, get your positions ready. I mean, I don't, I'm not saying spending money that you would need to live on, but something that, I mean, guys, I don't believe in putting my money in a bank. I'm not, this is not financial advice anymore, but I don't believe putting my money into a bank anymore. Because, I mean, Hey, Carlo. Uh, you are you are backing up a bit there. That's what three thousand percent. So that's that's unbelievable. So yeah, I mean, again, it's not financial advice, but. Yeah, see that. Yes. It's not load shedding, it's a signal. Yes, yes, it's, I think it's my signal, uh, my side. So uh, if you guys didn't get that, what Carlo is saying is that uh, not financial advice, but he uh, um, doesn't leave his money in the bank like myself because at the end of the day, uh, we won't get the kind of profits that uh, we are actually currently getting because um, at the end of the day, what the banks are giving is less even than inflation. So the kind of profit, I think you mentioned something about 3,000%, uh, uh, like some of the projects. Uh, I mean, it's unbelievable. 
yes, thanks so much uh, for tuning in. Um, and I'm uh, looking forward to uh, um, actually um, also interview one of the viewers here who maybe made a decision uh, or one of the other uh, um, Inner Circle members. But yes, I'm not going to keep you uh, for much longer than this. Thanks so much for tuning in and have a fantastic day. Well, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, it was really, it was a pleasure being on here. Awesome. Good luck, guys. Thank you.